All right, so there's a few things about aviary that you might want to know. Um, first of all, if you're not, if you just opened aviary, aviary it's audio editor, you might not be signed in at this point. So um, one of the first things you're going to want to do is to click save as, even if your project, um, if you're just first starting a project. And so I'm going to name this sample. And I'm going to say that even if you don't have an account, uh, you actually kind of do have an account because they're registered with Google. So I'm going to say uh, login register, but I'm going to click already have an account. Uh, and I'm going to say login with Google because I just want to keep it simple. So there I am, I'm logged in. You're going to have to, if this is your first time on Aviary, save uh, or uh, give them a username for yourself, but you can still use your Google login to log in. Just click the Google egg, don't like, whatever. All right, so save as a new creation, it saves, great. Um, so, uh, how to use Aviary? Well, first thing you're going to want to do probably is agree to these terms of service so that you can see the music loops that come free with Aviary. Um, there are lots of fun little loops you can use. Uh, so to, to use a loop or to add a, uh, an audio file to your project, this is your project window. Uh, most editors look kind of the same, video and audio. So this is uh, the playhead. It'll play through whatever uh, tracks you list here. So I'll drag a track up here, and we can see if I put it right there. Uh, it's going to pause for a second before it starts playing, so I hit the space bar to play it. And then I'll turn the, turn the audio up so you can maybe hear it in the background. Here we go. So um, you can use these music loops as things in the background of your project. This is a multi-track audio editor, so you can add multiple tracks. So you have actually 10 to work with. If you scroll down through, you have all 10, and you can do individual controls with each track. So now if we play it, it's going to sound like a jumbled mess when this audio track starts. So you're not going to want it to sound like that when you finish it. To delete a track, you just click the track and hit delete. Um, you can make a number of different important changes to tracks. First of all, you can drag the end and beginning points simply by clicking that arrow. Now, I didn't just delete all that stuff. You can redrag it out and it'll be there again, or it'll drag through the next loop of that track. Um, so you can change the start and end points that way. If you want, say, to cut out a portion in the middle, you simply use the select tool and you can select whichever portion of audio you don't want and hit delete and it's gone and then drag those two back together. Now that won't sound exactly like we want it, but just for the sake of example. Um, you can also use this area to control a number of things. You can control the volume of the track so that if you want the music to be softer than the words say, which is a good idea, you can set the music track to low. You can also, um, I believe, show selected track automation. Now this will be somewhat important. Um, this is a little bit more advanced editing technique, but uh, it's useful. So the gain is the volume, okay? And if you, and this yellow line describes, if the, if the gain is clicked, this yellow line describes the, the volume. So if, say if you want this track to fade out. So we're going to add a couple little buttons here by clicking on the yellow line, and it lets us drag the volume around. So now when it gets to this point in the play, uh, in the track, the music is going to fade out. So here we go, we'll listen to it. So it goes pretty quick here, I'll slide it back so you can make sure to hear it a little bit more easily. All right, so anyway, you can do very, uh, you can add as many of those little red balls as you want and drag them all over the place so you can do really funny weirdo things with uh, track volume and pan and fades and gains and all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, that sounds bizarre. You would not want to do that in your own recording. All right, so that's a little bit about um, how to edit audio with aviary. Uh, in a couple days I'll add another video about how to export it to SoundCloud and how to put it on the website.